Okay, I got a big surprise today. And uh, I, I was trying to get the, get a scoop on this. I don't want to tell anybody where I was going. Right? So I'm here in Brooklyn, New York with uh, someone who I have enormous respect for. I've been covering him uh, on and off for quite a while. And uh, he's, a, uh, he's a congressman. He's a, a soon to be congressman, should have been a congressman. And uh, I want to introduce a good friend. I hope he's a good friend. Let's uh, bring Tim Canova. Thank you, brother. It's great to be here with you, Marcus. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for, uh, for uh, coming on, coming on camera. So, My pleasure. So uh, Tim Canova is um, is uh, Tim Canova is famed from uh, running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz in the 2016 uh, presidential election the election for uh, the Congress seat down in Florida. And at one at some point, when Bernie Sanders had some, you know, some gonads, he, he backed him, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, politics kicked in and went the other way. So, I guess, I guess the, um, I, I guess my first question is, is Tim, you're, you're going against perhaps one of the most hated political figures and the most divisive political figures, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Just to say her name uh, it invokes a, 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 a kind of a, a reaction. So, um, you know, and uh, by all accounts, we, I followed you. I followed it pretty closely. It seems like it seems like you did, in fact, win that election. Uh, well, we have our doubts about the final numbers. That's for sure. We had our doubts when it happened. Uh, our field uh, operation was enormous. Uh, we were knocking on ten to twelve thousand doors a week. I think it was probably the largest field operation of any congressional district in the country in 2016. And the numbers we were bringing back showed us pulling away uh, pretty decisively at the end. Exit polls too, right? Exit polls. Well, there were no exit polls. There were no exit polls. Uh, I regret that I did not formally uh, challenge the results. Uh, there's a whole story uh, there of how even the progressive establishment came down on me to, to uh, <coughs> excuse me, to, to strong arm me against that. Uh, but election experts who studied the race continued to contact me in the days and weeks after uh, our August uh, 30th primary. And uh, finally, to kind of try to put the matter to rest, I put in a public records request with uh, Broward County Supervisor of Elections. I thought we could inspect the ballots. They are public records. And, uh, and, if, and then, you know what, they threw them in the garbage. Right? That's what, essentially what ended up happening. Uh, Unbelievable. We, 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 first, they jerked us around for, for half a year. We finally brought a lawsuit in. Spent June. a lot of money. Spent, spent a lot of money. They have been money. bleeding us on this. Bleeding and driving money. So we bring a lawsuit. While Democrats. the lawsuit is pending, the Broward Supervisor of Elections destroys all the ballots. Now, that's a violation of federal law, state law. There are felonies involved. How many people went to jail? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's been even investigated, let alone prosecuted. And that itself uh, is very telling. It's not just the Democrats who tried to cover up their own crimes. But you would have thought a Republican governor, uh, Rick Scott, would have fired the supervisor of elections, that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement would Brenda, investigate. Brenda, Brenda Snipes. Brenda Snipes. Brenda Snipes. Yep. Yeah. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement has done nothing, and the U.S. Attorney and the Department of Justice. These are all in Republican you had, hands. You had, you had real evidence. You had, <laughs> yeah. you had the actual goods where, where you had the, 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 what's her name, Brenda Snipes, the election lady actually saying that we destroyed it and she was a mistake. Admitting it in a Admitting videotape it. deposition and that was the and civil that's still suit. still not enough today. No, that's still no. not enough and, in the and in our civil suit, the Florida Circuit Court granted a summary judgment. It right. is hard to win on summary judgment. Right. And it shows that the supervisor yeah, yeah. has no defense. Yeah, they didn't even want it. Yeah. They didn't even want you yeah. in the courtroom. So I was perplexed. Why wouldn't the Republicans jump all over this? For years, the Republicans have been attacking Brenda Snipes and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And here we have the goods on all of them. Why wouldn't they investigate? And it got back to me through Republican channels that uh, these Republicans have the same friends that Wasserman Schultz does. Mm. Essentially, the same corporate lobbyists and big corporate interests are behind both parties. Right. And we've known this all along, but to see it play out in the context of what may very well be a stolen election in one of the most contested uh, primaries in recent decades is very uh, disturbing. Right, right. So, so Bernie Sanders, let's uh, let's talk about let's just uh, flip. Let's just see. I want to talk about okay. just how divisive and this uh, evil <laughs> this whole thing has gotten. Um, 
down in Florida, uh, there's a couple. There's a couple that they they did the uh, was the Jared and Elizabeth Beck. They did. Yes. They, they cast they, a lawsuit uh, against the DNC. Uh, against the DNC. Yeah. And in that process, two two people died. There was Seth Rich, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, uh, Sean Lucas. Sean Lucas. Uh, the yeah. server. So I mean, not not to not to dwell on it, but. Uh, that, that was a pretty heavy case, and it's still outstanding. And it's it's um, there's been no there's been no uh, significant uh, there's no evidence well, that a murder occurred in D.C. I was but a, there is evidence that he was an insider, and he is quite possibly was the leak. And now there's even new evidence. I, I don't know if you agree, but also with uh, with the Awan brothers, the the whole story of this Pakistani spy ring in Congress, who could have also been the leak. They had access to, to, right. to, to your opponent, Debbie Wasserman Schultz's computer. Right. Uh, so, so I, I mean, what, 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 what do you say to that? I mean, it, there's two dead bodies, right? What, you know, there's a, a prosecutor, right? Didn't a prosecutor end up in the ocean? Down? Yes, uh, in Hollywood Beach. Uh, a federal prosecutor, 37-year-old man, married with two young kids, uh, was uh, shot in the head. Uh, the initial reports, I believe, said that he had been shot a couple of times and no gun had been found. And a few weeks later, the local press reported it as a suicide. Uh, so you don't really know what to believe. Um, I, I got really terribly uh, attacked um, and cast as a uh, conspiracy theorist for even saying uh, the young man's name in Washington, D.C., who was murdered. Unfortunately, um, those who uh, purport to be protecting his family have made his name literally into two four-letter words right. uh, that you, know, you cannot even really repeat. Uh, and all I did was call for an investigation and to cast uh, some doubt on, you know, the idea that it was a, a botched robbery. Um, I've um, agreed not to bring it up uh, uh, as long as his parents are uh, basically imploring people not to bring it up. Uh, but, you know, it should be a no-brainer that we need investigations. And sure. I thought there, there was going to be a serious investigation of the Iwan, uh brothers. Um, the IT scandal on Capitol Hill, and just a few weeks ago it was swept under the rug under with a plea bargain that uh, he ended up pleading guilty to, to lesser charges than the House Inspector General uh, had found he had committed uh, way back in, I believe, August of 2016. So you got to wonder about this Justice Department. And, you know, I know a lot of folks have doubts about the Justice Department for the investigations you're mentioning. Yeah. Awan and the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the Justice Department has done nothing when ballots have been destroyed in my race, and like, like we were saying, the yeah. supervisor of elections admits to doing it, uh, yeah. the, the court uh, rules that she has violated uh, federal and state law, and the, the Justice Department, uh, well, they can't be bothered for now, I guess. It's pretty powerful. The thing, the thing that, that inspires me most about your story is that in, uh, the, the election is November 6th. I'm also running for, 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 as a writing candidate in New York. For the Senate, for Senate against uh, Kristen Gillibrand. Right? Oh, fantastic! Right, yeah. That's great. You want to endorse him? Yeah, endorse sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, I, so, I should uh, need, I should see the rest of the field, but a uh, choice between you and Kristen Gillibrand, I don't think that's a that's, hard choice. That's not a hard yeah. choice, right? So you also use the P word. Don't ever. I, I don't want to use the word progressive anymore. I don't want to yeah. use the word Democrat anymore. Uh, that, and that's the thing that inspired me about Tim is that Tim is running as an independent, right? And he didn't run in the Democratic the primary and get get a knife stuck in his back again he just bypassed that and he went right he's running in november he'll be on the ballot correct you're yes, in you're in you got the, the signatures yes. all right so this is this is a three-way race you got you got uh debbie wasserman schultz one of the most hated divisive figures in in american politics running against probably a no-name republican well the republican the primary right now i say that this is a district that was gerrymandered for wasserman schultz it's supposed to be a safe Democratic district forever. Only 25% of the registered voters in my district are Republican. So the idea that somehow voting for me is going to be, I'll be a spoiler and a Republican will get in is nonsense. nonsense. But that's the kind of whispering campaign that Wasserman Schultz and her cronies are engaged in, right. is to basically say that I'm in league with the Republicans. It's, it's absolute nonsense and it's absolute garbage. I mean, I, I, I just hope, you know, I hope and pray that, that, uh, that, the, that there is a fair election. At this point, the DNC has already admitted that the primaries are not rigged, but with a, with a Democratic control in your district, we have to be, you know, we have to be vigilant to, to see that that election well, is actually that, That's true. And, you know, when the Republicans 
uh, are not willing to investigate election yeah. fraud in my district because they're basically in cahoots with the corporate interests that are sure. behind Wasserman Schultz. Well, you same know, donors, same, same donors, donors. The, the owner class, donor class, absolutely. But you know what we're trying to do differently this time is that we're working with a group called Democracy Counts. Mm -hmm. Democracy Counts is um, uh, putting together the software for a citizen's audit mm -hmm. uh, that should be admissible in court. That's the objective. Uh, we've got to raise a couple of hundred thousand dollars for the Democracy Counts citizen audit. Mm -hmm. They just launched um, a fundraising, a GoFundMe, a few days ago. They brought in about six thousand dollars already. But if folks can go to that GoFundMe for I, Democracy I saw Counts. That on, I saw that on the Jimmy Dore show. Exactly. Yeah, you covered J that. Jimmy that. was interviewing me, and, and uh, I'm sorry, and also Melissa Schwartz from Democracy mm. Counts about it. That's Excellent. right. So, so uh, I'm going to ask you uh, your first, what, what are you going to do on your first day as, uh, in Congress? Uh, and then as you uh, pivot from that to run for the presidency. I'll ask you, I'll, <laughs> that's, I'll ask you that that's, later. That's, that's a good but one. firstly, I want to know, yeah. I want, okay, Bernie Sanders, right? Russia, 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 right? Yeah. Russia, 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 in my view, and anybody who's probably watching this channel, agrees that the Russia scam scandal is a diversion yes. to take the mind off the ball from the things that we're talking about right here, which was Bernie Sanders getting a knife in his back, getting uh, getting bamboozled in the 2016 election. We saw the you know across the country from California all the way to New York, the election poll, the exit polls didn't match. The, the they were they were right here in Brooklyn, New York. They they ousted uh, 200 uh, thousand. 200 thousand in New York City alone. In Brooklyn alone, that was Brooklyn. 120 thousand in Brooklyn. Okay, I think, you got it. The right. five boroughs, 200 thousand citizens uh, purged from the voter registration rolls. In the days before the the primary, that's between. election fraud. That's 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 a that's a, and and I don't think I, that Vladimir Putin and Russia were behind <laughs> that one. That's uh, the big point, yeah, right? Uh, unfortunately, if they were, there'd be an investigation, perhaps, you know. But otherwise, it gets so, swept so why under is, the rug. So why is Bernie Sanders on television right now? Bernie Sanders, we all, I mean, there's almost nothing that that could change our minds of, of the uh, the goodness that Bernie Sanders did in 2016. But the Bernie Sanders right now on television. Um, and I'll ask you also, his, he's, he's got his arm around the, uh, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, right? which is, she's, she's good, she's, she's interesting and all I, that. I supported her. I, I, I was endorsing her weeks before uh, her election. Now, she's been on television saying, she, this video of her saying that she'll just vote along the lines with the, with the Democrats, roll along party lines, and that's where, that's where you lose me. She also told a little fib about where she was from. She said she was from the Bronx, and meanwhile she's from upstate New York. So there's a couple of inconsistencies in her story, but her platform is universal health care yeah, for all. Yeah, it's a great platform. It's, 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 she's it's a, a dynamic personality. I want to believe in her. I want to believe in her, yeah. too. Yeah. I, I, we agree on that. And, and I don't know, you know, what's uh, the story with Bernie. Uh, I don't know anything about Bernie as far as... Uh, why he's repeating uh, a lot of the Russian narrative. Maybe you think he, he believes it? You think uh, he... Your guess is as good as mine. I think it's uh, really a shame. I mean, uh, th this fixation with Russia is, is really interesting because uh, Russia is not much of a democracy itself, of course. And our country doesn't seem like much of a democracy when um, progressives, I know you don't want to use that word progressives. Uh, I know everyone calls word. it. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, insurgents uh, within yeah. the Democratic Party get lied and cheat, cheated and... Uh, Constantly. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, and, and they, they lay down and, and expect the same... Uh, it's kind of like the abused parent, you know? Like, yeah. Like, so that's I, why, I, I mean, that's I've why... I've said it many times. They expect you, you know, it's like spousal abuse or something, yeah, right? Yeah. You get beaten up and then you're told, no, you can't go anywhere else, you, you know, right, you, we belong right. together, that kind of thing. Where else are you going to yeah, go? Yeah. Where else are you going to go? You, you know, like, that's, that's the definition of, uh, you know, domestic right, violence right. where... Where someone gets abused and then the, uh, the parent says, uh, where are you going to go? You gotta, I, I saw a graph recently of distribution of income in a bunch yeah. of countries. Let's talk about and that. the European countries, it's a decent distribution. In the United States and Russia, uh, the distribution is almost identical. So, I mean, both these countries are really plutocracies. Ours is, I guess you could call it a, a corporate plutocracy. Uh, but Russia, too. I mean, these are uh, corporate oligarchs in Russia that run the show there as well. Right. I mean, they, they we'll talk, yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about Trump, Trump represents a threat to the, you know, the status quo of the oligarchy. If, the corporate, if, if Trump gets his way, it's not that necessarily people are going to prosper more, but certain companies, uh, certain publicly traded companies on the New York's, uh, you know, publicly traded companies in the stock market are going to benefit. And I think that the, the Russia scare, in my view, 
kind of diverts the attention away from you know the the military industrial complex rather than rather than Lockheed Martin making 50 billion dollars some other company will make that money under Trump so I mean that that's a that's a good reason why they pick you know the, the Russia scare but a lot there's a lot a lot of speculation but oligarchy right? let's talk about oligarchy. There's one in one in seven people in America right now are on food stamps. Yeah. There's there's an estimated seventy percent of the country doesn't have four hundred dollars today. Right. 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 right? This has become and, and, a winner take all and, and society. Does, uh, it really has, and I've been writing about this for years as a law. How do we professor. change it? What do we do about it? Oh, we need a new deal. We need uh, a new deal. We we truly do, and I uh, you know I say this is a progressive agenda, and I know there's that word is contested. My yeah. campaign slogan. Uh, from the very beginning in 2016, really, it still is my campaign slogan, is progress for all. And that was a New Deal slogan that was used by John Kennedy in his 1960 presidential run. And I say, if anyone asks you, what does it mean to be a progressive? My response is, it's not progressive if it's not progress for all. No more trickle down, no progress for those at the top. Right, it, that's it, a scam, right? It's an absolutely scam. It hasn't, yeah, it, it, it hasn't, it hasn't worked. Reagan, it might never work. Even you know, if you if you look, if you roll back, this is on YouTube. If you look at uh, uh, what was the Fed chair's name, Greenspan, mm -hmm. has even said it on his way out. Said that we were wrong. Yeah. We, we were, we were <laughs> well, wrong. He said, he, was, that, he said, he said that. that when the system cratered in 2008. Right. You know, we were wrong. Uh, that's right. He said he was shocked. Uh, shocked Trump, that there was gambling Trump, in the casino. What do we say to the Trump supporters that have duped into thinking that Trump has some some idea of how to uh, uh, to to stimulate an economy, which all he's doing is following following the failed policies of trickle down economics. But what you're saying is a new deal, which is, in my view, tax the corporations. And, and, build a, and build a bottom-up recovery. Build a bottom-up okay. recovery, yeah. slash the military spending. That's right. You know, maybe even lower the income tax. Now, yeah. the, 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 the income tax scam that the Republicans uh, under Trump just gave to the corporations. Now, that to me, that's like the ultimate, the ultimate smack in the face. They gave, they gave the corporations 14 more percent. They, 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 they lowered it from 34 to 20. Mm -hmm. Gave them an extra 14 percent of money they don't pay anyone. Anyway. It's, it's right. true. It's true. Uh, you know, folks should really lawless. Now, not a single one of them. If they don't, if they evade the tax anyway, not, nobody has ever gone to jail. Yeah. Show me one corporate, one, one corporate executive, one CEO that has ever been tried for tax evasion or or uh, insider trading. Well, this is the point. But I've it's been all making. it's all tax evasion, and it's all insider trading, right. and it, it hurts the American. It so, hurts so the American. you can go back and look at the Justice Department under Eric Holder during the Obama administration, right. where there was no serious investigations and absolutely no prosecutions of top bank bankers from Wall Street right. who cratered the economy. I mean, it was a multi-trillion dollar scam on the American people, yeah. and uh, much. Well, Timothy Geithner too. Timothy Geithner was standing right next to Obama. Where, who's Timothy Geithner? Timothy Geithner was an old Goldman Sachs, you know, executive who was wholly, you know, well, he, was wholly he, responsible he, for the Robert, Robert Rubin really groomed uh, Timothy Geithner during the Clinton administration. Mm. And uh, then afterwards, he did a stint at the International Monetary Fund and came back to New York and was the president of the New York uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Right. And that's, he went from there to becoming Obama's Treasury Secretary. Right. And you know, I'll say that in 2008, I was an Obama supporter. Yeah, you know, so was C I. C -C so was I. And and I contributed oh. small donations, absolute oh. open change, right? Uh, we all bought but, it. But he got elected in early November, and by later in November, he held a press conference in which he announced Timothy Geithner and Larry Summers would be two top people in his administration. And both at that point, Zach's at yeah. that point, I realized it's, it's you know, yeah, it's over. Yeah. So I let you go. I mean, you got a you got a full house downstairs. Yes. Let you get down. Thanks. I people. appreciate that. <laughs> so I want to ask you on yeah. uh, looking at to tell tell the people. I think you're going to win. I, I think you can. We I have think to, with we enough, have to win, and we've got to make sure it doesn't get stolen. It okay? doesn't get stolen. I yeah. think that I and, think that. When the when if uh, when the votes are actually cast, I believe that you'll be the winner, and that we have to step in and make sure that you're the winner. And so when you get down to Congress, and they're gonna they're gonna throw shit at you, they're gonna throw stones at you, they're gonna say this guy's a traitor, he's a he's a Putin, <laughs> they're gonna call you a Putin puppet, <laughs> they're gonna call you everything, right? How do you you know? And and what do you what do you do? You walk into the office and say, okay. Okay, donors, how can I help you? Or do you, do you stay stay with the American people? No, I, I walk in. I walk in and I say, okay, donors, how can I help you? And who are my donors? 
My donors are the American people. I don't take a penny from any corporate interests. I have said time and time again that when elected, I will be bought and paid for by the American people. So, you know, folks, go to timcanova.com and throw some small donations our way and spread the word. I'm, I'm there to work for the people of the 23rd Congressional District and the people of the United States. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good, luck in, good luck in your write-in. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, fuck, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks so much, Tim. Peace. Thank you, Marcus. All Peace. right, so uh, that's Tim Katova, Marcus Conti reporting from, from Brooklyn, New York. Peace out.